What if I told you that every time you use the internet, swipe a credit card, or even unlock your phone, you're interacting with hundreds of protocols? Protocols are the secret language of the digital world. They dictate how devices communicate, how data moves, and how secure our networks are. But most people have no idea how they work. Hi, my name is Josh, and this channel is dedicated to helping you become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro. Fast. In this video, I'll explain every important protocol as quickly as possible. From internet protocols like HTTP and TCP IP to hacking relevant protocols like SSH and SMB, we're covering them all. By the end of this video, you'll understand the backbone of modern technology in record time. Let's dive in. The Core Internet Protocols How the Internet Works The Internet functions seamlessly due to a set of protocols that define how data is transmitted, received, and interpreted. Among the most fundamental are HTTP and HTTPS, which dictate how web pages are loaded and displayed. HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is the foundation of data communication on the web, enabling browsers to request and retrieve information from servers. However, HTTP transmits data in plain text, making it vulnerable to interception and attacks like Man in the Middle, where hackers can alter or steal sensitive data. To counter this, HTTPS encrypts data using SSL and TLS, ensuring privacy and protection against unauthorized access. This is why websites handling sensitive information, such as online banking platforms, strictly use HTTPS to prevent credential theft and financial fraud. Another crucial component of internet communication is the TCP IP model, which governs how devices exchange data. Transmission control protocol ensures that data packets are sent, received in the correct order, and error checked for integrity. Meanwhile, the internet protocol determines the best possible route for data packets to travel across networks. These two protocols work in tandem to ensure that when you send a message over WhatsApp, for instance, it arrives at its intended destination without corruption or delay. Without TCP IP, data transmission would be unreliable, leading to broken connections and miscommunication between devices. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you, and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There has never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers earn from $90,000 US dollars to $120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. A lesser known yet indispensable protocol is DNS, the domain name system, often referred to as the internet's phone book. It translates human-friendly website names like YouTube.com into numerical IP addresses that computers understand, such as 142.250.185.206. Without DNS, users would need to memorize complex IP addresses for every website they visit, making web navigation practically impossible. However, DNS can also be exploited through attacks like DNS spoofing, 
where hackers manipulate domain records to redirect users to fraudulent websites, often used in phishing schemes. Managing IP addresses dynamically in large networks would be tedious without DHCP or the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. DHCP automates the assignment of IP addresses to devices, eliminating the need for manual configuration each time a device connects to a network. Imagine walking into a cafe and connecting to its Wi-Fi. DHCP assigns your device an IP address automatically, allowing seamless access without the need for configuration. Without DHCP, every time you connected to a new network, you'd have to manually enter network settings, making connectivity far less efficient. Cybersecurity and Hacking Protocols Protecting and Exploiting Networks Beyond general internet communication, specialized protocols exist to enhance security, facilitate remote access, and monitor networks. One of the most important among these is SSH, which enables encrypted remote access to systems. Unlike unsecured methods such as Telnet, SSH protects login credentials and transmitted data from eavesdroppers. IT professionals use SSH to manage remote servers securely, but hackers also exploit misconfigured SSH services to gain unauthorized access. If an attacker obtains SSH credentials, they can control the compromise system from anywhere, making it a highly sought-after target in cyber attacks. For internal file sharing in organizations, Windows systems rely on SMB or Server Message Block, a protocol that allows users to share files and printers over a network. While useful for businesses, SMB has been a favorite target for cybercriminals, as demonstrated in the WannaCry ransomware attack, which exploited vulnerabilities in outdated SMB versions to spread malware globally. This highlights the importance of keeping SMB versions updated and securing shared network resources with strong authentication measures. File transfer protocols like FTP and SFTP play a critical role in moving data between computers, but not all transfer methods are secure. FTP transmits files in plain text, meaning anyone intercepting the communication can view the transferred data, including login credentials. To mitigate this risk, SFTP uses SSH encryption to protect data in transit. Web developers, for example, often use SFTP to upload files securely to web servers, ensuring that unauthorized users cannot alter website content. Remote Desktop Protocol, or RDP, is another widely used but frequently exploited protocol. RDP allows users to control Windows computers remotely, making it valuable for IT support and remote work. However, weak RDP passwords and open RDP ports have been a common entry point for ransomware gangs and hackers looking to gain full access to enterprise systems. Once inside, attackers can exfiltrate sensitive data, deploy malware, or lock organizations out of their own networks. This is why businesses enforce multi-factor authentication and strong password policies to secure RDP connections. Network administrators rely on SNMP, or Simple Network Management Protocol, to monitor and manage network devices like routers, switches, and servers. It enables automated alerts for system failures, unusual traffic, or potential security threats. However, misconfigured SNMP settings can expose critical network data, making it easier for attackers to map an organization's infrastructure and identify weak points. Companies using SNMP must secure it with authentication mechanisms and access controls to prevent unauthorized exploitation. Email and Authentication Protocols How Your Emails and Logins Work Email remains one of the most essential forms of communication, and behind every message you send or receive, multiple protocols work together to ensure delivery and access. SMTP or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is the backbone of sending emails, allowing email clients like Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo Mail to transmit messages across the internet. However, SMTP only works for outgoing emails, meaning it cannot be used to retrieve messages from a server. This is where IMAP and POP3 come in. IMAP, or Internet Message Access Protocol, allows users to read their emails across multiple devices without downloading them. This means when you check your inbox on your phone and later on your laptop, both devices stay synchronized, 
marking read emails as read and deleted ones as deleted across all platforms. In contrast, POP3, or Post Office Protocol 3, downloads emails to a single device and then removes them from the server. This makes it useful for those who prefer storing their emails locally, ensuring they can be accessed even without an internet connection. However, once emails are downloaded via POP3, they won't appear on other devices. This is why modern email clients mostly use IMAP, ensuring seamless multi-device access. Beyond email, authentication protocols play a critical role in verifying identities during logins. One of the most widely used is LDAP, or Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, which acts as a centralized authentication system. Many organizations use LDAP to manage employee logins, ensuring that only authorized users can access company resources. For example, when you enter your work email and password on your office network, LDAP checks the credentials against a company directory before granting access. Without LDAP, managing large-scale logins would require individual account verification for each system, making authentication highly inefficient. Wireless and Network Security Protocols – Keeping Connections Secure The security of wireless networks is a top priority, especially as cyber threats become more sophisticated. WPA2, also known as Wi-Fi Protected Access, and WPA3 are the most widely used encryption protocols for securing Wi-Fi networks. WPA2 has been the standard for years, offering robust encryption that prevents attackers from intercepting wireless traffic. However, as hackers develop more advanced password cracking techniques, WPA3 was introduced as a stronger, more secure alternative. WPA3 improves protection against brute force attacks and ensures that even weak passwords provide a reasonable level of security. Whenever you connect to a Wi-Fi network and enter a password, WPA2 or WPA3 is working behind the scenes to encrypt the communication, ensuring that no unauthorized user can eavesdrop on your activity. Without this encryption, hackers could use packet-sniffing tools to steal sensitive information, such as login credentials and banking details. While WPA2 and WPA3 secure local Wi-Fi connections, IPsec, also known as Internet Protocol Security, is used to encrypt entire network communications, making it a fundamental technology behind VPNs, or virtual private networks. IPsec encrypts internet traffic, preventing third parties such as hackers or even internet service providers from monitoring online activities. Whenever you connect to a VPN, it likely relies on IPsec to scramble your data, making it unreadable to outsiders. This is crucial for individuals who need to maintain privacy, such as journalists working in restrictive regions or employees accessing company resources remotely. At the core of how data travels across the internet is BGP or Border Gateway Protocol, which essentially acts as the internet's traffic control system. BGP determines the most efficient routes for data to take when traveling between different networks worldwide. Without BGP, global internet traffic would be chaotic, causing major slowdowns and outages. In 2021, a BGP misconfiguration caused Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp to go offline for hours, demonstrating how critical this protocol is to maintaining internet stability. Future and Emerging Protocols The Next Generation of Networking As internet usage evolves, newer protocols are emerging to improve speed, security, and efficiency. One of the most promising is QUIC, also known as QUIC UDP Internet Connections, which aims to replace the aging TCP that has been in use for decades. QUIC is designed to speed up web browsing, streaming, and online gaming by reducing latency. Traditional TCP connections require a multi-step handshake process to establish communication, slowing down loading times. In contrast, QUIC minimizes this delay making it the preferred protocol for high-speed services. Another breakthrough protocol is MQTT or Message Queuing Telemetry Transport, which powers the ever-growing world of the Internet of Things. MQTT allows smart devices, such as home automation systems, industrial sensors, and security cameras, to communicate efficiently. Unlike traditional Internet protocols, 
which consume significant bandwidth, MQTT is lightweight and optimized for low-power devices. For example, if you have a smart thermostat that connects to your phone, it likely uses MQTT to send real-time temperature updates while consuming minimal data and battery life. As technology continues to advance, these emerging protocols will play a crucial role in shaping the future of internet communication, ensuring faster speeds, enhanced security, and improved connectivity across devices. You just learned the most important protocols that power the internet, cybersecurity, and hacking. If this video helped you, hit like and subscribe for more tech breakdowns. Which protocol surprised you the most? Comment below. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.